Right, who's next? This one was troubling too because I think I'm just not with a character as fast as Kami, I don't think that I was making decisions fast enough to really just be present in the game. And right there, I barely missed times. I, I didn't realize that um, she was going to do two kicks uh, with like her charged version uh, across the ground, right? I didn't realize that it was going to hit twice. So by the time that I hit the second button, I was in block stun for the second kick of hers, the second sweep. So then I just, you know, brain lagged for the rest of <laughs> for the rest of that uh, scenario. I have to I have to not give up the corner so free like praying that they jump. Like I got to actually be confident to pressure, but I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing yet. So In that one, I was like, oh wait, it hit twice last time, so I just was kind of lost. And here, I just lost momentum and steamrolled. Was not ready to anti-air, was not ready to cancel into drive impact, was not ready to anti-air. Gave, was not ready to anti-air. And just, overall, I'm just falling apart here. It's just not good play. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. That was a good block though. Good punish right there. I do like this format, but it takes obviously twice as long because I have to watch the videos back again. And then edit it together. Well, since I'm uploading full game footage, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, the editing process would not take as long because I'm watching them fully. I don't have to clip between the matches. Well, I don't have to clip into the matches, I just have to cut between them. Yeah, that one was rough. I keep going for buttons that are too slow when I when I when I'm airborne. Right here I flub it. And I give up the corner. But then I realize that I try to keep pressure, but she jumps out. Button was too slow on the anti-air. Was not ready to anti-air there. I mean, on the air to air. Was not ready to anti-air there. I was figuring she was just going to blast her critical art whenever. And I wasted mine. I got the three punches. I could not convert. This nigga JP though, bro, I promise you. If I'm gonna do an early air to air, I should probably stick with medium kick. I 
That's tough. That is bullshit, I will say. Getting the timing down for some of the stuff is tough in the heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. 99.88. I gotta get better on whiff punishing too. I think the thing about it, like, counter hit combos versus punish counter combos. You don't have to react to it. You should basically know. You should. Well, I'm. I'm. I'm thinking for in terms of the mental stack. My thought process right now is starting to understand that you should assume that your hits are going to be counter hits, and if they're punish counters, because it happens during the recovery of a move, recovery of a move, you're going to have time enough to recognize that you're out of counter hit range. You know what I mean? So. So there's that. The boy is back. Took a little businessy call there, but Wombasaurus is getting in for free. I I think biggest thing for me is maintaining spacing and pokes, and just kind of being patient, not trying to take to the air all the time. Because as mobile as Cami is, she's not as mobile as people might have her think. Because, like, right there, my EX hooligan just got jabbed. Like, right here, I have no reason to approach him, but I'm, like, pushing. When I'm in the corner, I should be going for DPs. I'll keep that in note. Like, I'm, I'm going to write that down, actually. I'm going to start writing down stuff I'm noticing. I'm going to call this section problems. Yeah, because I didn't have to lose that. In the corner. Uh, spikes over 
arrows. So in the corner, I need to do spikes over arrows. I need to stay out of cross-up range overall. I need to poke more often slash smarter and then actually anti-air. Like right there, I went for some weird American reset mix up thing instead of actually just capitalizing on the hit that I got, which would have just been jabs, but it would have been jabs that, you know, locked him. Like right there, I, I dashed forward when I was trying to DP. It wasn't good. I didn't do the combo. After I get the counter hit uh, drive impact, punish counter drive impact, just stand fierce, charge spike. That's it. That's all I got to worry about. Those were counter hits and not punish counters, which means that he pressed something, so that's not a punishable move by a crouching medium punch. I think I lose this round. Yeah, because I wasn't ready to, I forgot that the EX Spiral Arrow crossed up. So with all the time that passed from it breaking through his drive impact, I forgot that I was going to be on the other side. And there I go, just Spiral Arrowing in neutral. Shallow is fine like that, but I do it way too close. And then I need to know what I do on wall splat, you know? <sighs> Just gotta figure out what I do on wall splat and on jump in. Cause those are situations where I'm leaving damage on the table. That's not good. rough I did not intend to do that one I remember also it's just I gotta be careful more careful about how I buffer I think I win this round because I remember clearing the round when he didn't have any he didn't have any juice he didn't have any drink and I'm yep there you go gold two Watching this back has been good.
the air to air was fine for the scramble, but. And that's fine. Honestly, that's fine by me. Refrigerator. I never noticed that before. That's tough. I tried to dash under. Re well, really, I tried to walk under, and the dash did not work. Even though I was hoping for it to at least have come out. That's tough because there were, because he was crouching, and I don't know if I just wasn't close enough to get my. I, I think I just wasn't close enough to get what I needed to get. And then he. Yep. Seemed like the type. Deja vu. I might have said that same thing before. You see Yamamoto back there? Is that his name? The dude with the sword? Even if it would not have worked, maybe I just need to stop going for enders. <laughs> I, I, like, I'm really doing stuff. And it's like, why did you do that? And it's like, well, did you see it confirmed? No. Did you have a read? No. I just autopiloted, you know? I gotta stop doing that. Even if it's just like on block, you know, it's costing their gauge, their meter, their resources. And then you get touched by it, you get hurt. I have a feeling that this was not the stage that this match happened on for some reason. I might, I could be wrong, but for some reason I feel like this happened on like Metro City or something. Or like med like the streets, urban city streets. And that's just tough. He just played better. He just made a better decision than what I was expecting there. He does it again. He does it a third time. Yeah, this did not happen in the ring. I don't think this happened in the ring. I'm pretty sure this was on Metro City Streets. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that for sure. Do I win this? No, I don't. I think I get to like upside down kicked. Yeah, or not upside down kicked, but that one, yeah. That's tough.
Yeah, I remember taking that trade too on Urban City Streets. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why it chose this stage out of all the other ones. Because not every fight was on the ring, the Macho ring. tried to bait something right there but he didn't go for the flash kick even if he if he did go for the flash kick it probably would have hit me at that range to be honest I had to blast it honestly I had no real reason to I should have just gone for the full combo there And the jab, I was surprised when the jab landed. I, I remember that too. Cool, bro. Cool. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of that recording session because, you know, all of, uh, whatever, man. The damn recording paused itself. So, well, I, whatever. This, th basically, this keyboard sucks. The one that I'm using for my stream PC. It's like a Bluetooth keyboard touchpad combo it's from Re. It's really not that good.